and a lot of other families. So from really, really uh, young, it's uh, like I've been taught about like the importance of like uh, building stuff myself and like making my own happiness and also sustainability, making your own clothes and going and recycle clothes and, and going to flea markets with my mother when I was really, really small. I've been building these big scale recycled uh, projects for the last eight, nine years, something like this. I thought it would be cool to, uh, to make a, a big recycled uh, troll because I have, have noticed that everywhere I go in the world, I always am able to find all, the, all these uh, pallets and, and, and wood that is just scrap wood and discarded. So I thought that um, if I could make a big sculpture of uh, recycled wood, then I would be able to make big scale sculptures all around the world. I think it's just really, really amazing that we can just dive into that to people's trash and then take it up and then create these huge things that spawns all these experiences for all the people who see them. Because um, if it would have just uh, stayed in the container, it would have had, had no value. Five years ago, we went to a little island called Culeba off the shore of uh, Puerto Rico. And there we built a sculpture called Hector Protector that's sitting like on the on a on a little pier outside the, the, the island and then it has a big rock and then it's throwing rocks at the at like the, the people who come and misbehave on the island. And then last year there was this hurricane called Hurricane Maria so that um, that hurricane flattened the whole island and smashed everything including my sculpture. Since then like a bunch of people from the island have asked me like oh Thomas can you come back and rebuild the sculpture and some people they like went and put flowers where the sculpture had been and and some people, they believed that nobody had, uh, there were no human casualties on the island because the sculpture had protected them. I think it's just so beautiful that I, I, I can come there and then I can build a sculpture that has such a big impact on, on these people and, and give them so much joy. And I make this of their own trash that I find on their own, own island. And now we made, I think it's 41, and we're gonna make another 16 throughout the next six months. I'm trying to make it like each troll as a part of, a, of like a big fairy tale that is uh, unveiling in the whole world. I think it's the best way of teaching people to recycle better is by actually involving in them and doing it. I think that is really what our world needs. It is to think of our trash as something beautiful instead of something disgusting. Because if we can uh, alter that uh, perspective, then uh, we can solve a lot of the problems that we have on our planet, just basically drowning in our own trash. My biggest um, advice to a young aspiring artist is that don't be afraid of uh, failing. Try to do something. So many people, they sit for years in their studio to draw the perfect drawing, record the, the perfect song, make the perfect video before they dare to publish it and show it to somebody else. So it's a classic, but it's the go ahead and do it and then you will uh, learn something.